Okay guys, we have a new evolution out. How we doing YouTube? Dimes HD here. And today we're going to be talking about base hero catch up. The new evolution has just come out for some players that you can put your FC heroes in and upgrade them to higher stats. Now this evolution is looking pretty good as a lot of these hero cards are relatively cheap. So we're going to go through some of these cards and see which ones would be best for your squad. So obviously coming in first, you have Paolo Futre. Honestly, this card looks pretty, pretty good. When you look at his stats, he goes from an 88 to a 90. No. He goes from an 88 to a 90. He can play left mid, right wing, and striker. He has 95 pace. Good stats all around. Good agility. Good balance. Paulo Futre is pretty good this year. The only thing that people could complain about is most likely the weak foot and the fact that he does already have a 90 rated card. I don't know how much this card is. Okay, so he's not 172,000 coins. So people could say, let's compare him to this one. Um, compared to us to this one to this one so he has plus one minus one so so yeah you could get this so this card will definitely go down in value this 90 rated one because basically you could get the same card pretty much for a fourth of the price like very very significantly cheaper so that's not too bad paulo food tree looking pretty good right there um, going into the next one, you have J.J. Okocha, obviously a fan favorite. A lot of people like him. He's very, very tricky. Got a lot of uh, skill moves in his bag. Um, and, yeah, he goes to, what, five-star, four-star? Well, he was already five-star, four-star, Josh. Um, he can play right mid and striker. He has a trickster, Tiki Taka. Obviously, play styles are really, really big. Those two are on gold. And, yeah, his stats look relatively good. Another fun one you could put in. This would be somebody that I would probably try or do because he could do tricks and... Yeah, I'm trying to learn how to do more skill moves and get better at the game. Well, not get better at the game, but just, you know, learn more skill moves, have more skill moves in my bag. So, that's a cool card to, you know, do. Um, out wide, man. I used this guy for a while back in um the last FIFA. He was very, very good. This card was very good at the start of the game. Um, He has four-star, four-star. He can play right mid, cam, and striker. Pretty good card all around. Good stamina, good stats. Um, His play style, he has Tiki Taka. Nothing else really too crazy about this card. I mean, at this stage of the game, this card is not going to be that good. Now, in, in a fun mode, if EA actually formatted the game correctly and actually had different game modes besides division rivals and champs, yeah, this card would be absolutely amazing for people who are from Saudi Arabia and who like this card. But, yeah, at this stage, I, I, I don't even think that card would be... I don't even think you could um, do a card like that. Uh, you can, but you're going you're gonna to struggle... Because people have such meta defenders. Schneider. Not a lot of people use Schneider. Very, very popular player in real life. But not a lot of people use him on the game. Um, He does go up to 90. He does already have a 91 rated card. So the stats are plus 2, plus, minus 1 um, in shooting, plus 1 in passing. So, I mean, these guys already got upgrades. So this evolution, uh, I don't know how much this Wesley Schneider is. Okay, so he's 1.3 million. And, I mean, I guess this one can play left mid. They do have different... um trait well no they don't they have the same play styles does this one have the same play styles as that one let me see here oh that one has whipped pass i mean it's like a little but but this card is a million 1.3 million so yeah i would say yeah that's not bad either for 125 thousand coins i mean honestly there are some good options here there are some very very good options um carlos tevez is another popular one i know he um just got an SBC, uh, or SBC, the um, FC Fantasy card. So he's another one that you could do. He gets up pretty close. This one has plus three, plus two, minus three. I mean, so the 90 Tevez is better in some areas, and the 91 is better in some areas. So honestly, yeah, for a fraction of the price, because I don't know how much Tevez's regular card is going for. Let's see that really quickly. Uh, he's not even on the market. He's extinct. 110k cap. So, yeah. I mean, if you could get your hands on Tevez, yeah, that would be another great option as well. Carlos Tevez. Um, you have Ledley King here. He looks pretty good. Obviously, a very, very good center back. But, obviously, people are using the Van Dykes, uh, you know, the usual names. But, honestly, he has Anticipate. I'm pretty sure on gold. Yeah, so he's going to be a beast. And Ledley King is always a very, very good card to come up against. He is a very, very good defender. And yeah, there's really not much to say about defenders. I mean, they, they are what they are. You know that you know the meta defenders. Lizardo is gonna be the same thing. Meta defender, very, very good card. 90 rated left left back. If you need a left back, he's definitely gonna be your guy. But there was a lot of future stars cards 
that got left by cards that are pretty much up to the level of this card, honestly. And, and you know, in my opinion, now, now people can say, no, this one is 700 and something K, but this one is basically 125,000 coins. So a lot of these, um, these, these, um, what are these called? Hero cards are going to go extinct because a lot of people realize that these cards are very, very close to the promo that they just dropped. It's FC Fantasy promo. So yeah, there, there's a lot of cards to get your hands on. You got Govu as well. had him as well in um, last FIFA, and he was very, very good as well. 91 pace, 93 shooting. He's going to be a beast. He looks like Papan. Very, very good card. A lot of French players get good cards. Now, the weak foot could present to be an issue. Um, he's very, very one-sided. Even though it's three, three stars, still a little bit too low for the stage of the game. But yeah, I, I would say Govu's another good OP card. Ricardo Carvalho. Never used this guy before. I, I don't think I've ever used Carvalho. Um, what's his play sauce? He doesn't have anticipate on gold. He's probably really, really solid. He is six foot. Um, he has good stats all around in the defensive areas where you would need them at. And I would say, yeah, he's another good pickup option. He's probably extinct as well. I think a lot of these cards are going to be extinct right now. Oh, okay, some of them are on the market, but they're definitely going to be max price um, at this time of recording. This Frank Francesco is a new one that they added. Um, he looks like another good option. Very, very good, well-rounded card. He has four-star, four-star Uruguayan um, hero card. Um, they say he's 124 years old. Is that true? Was this guy born in 1900? Is that true? Wow, I didn't know that. This guy was born January 1st, 1900. If that's true, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, so so his, his card looks really, really good. And the evolution that he gets is the base hero catch-up. And I don't know what his price is on the market. I think he's relatively cheap. At least 43,000 coins, pretty much max price. So yeah, I would say this evolution is out for what? 13 days. I would say these cards are going to come back on the market. Um, EA will balance it out. I mean, there's a lot of options here. You got Kebler. She's really, really good midfielder, German player. Um, Ashley Cole. I say everybody knows about Ashley Cole. He can play a lot of positions. Left wing, right mid, Cam. Very, very solid. You can even look at his card because he's going to be another popular one. that I said Ashley Cole. Joe Cole. I said Ashley Cole, man. Anyway, um, but yeah, he gets up to an 89. So this is his best card at the moment in the game. And yeah, his stats look absolutely amazing. Obviously, a Chelsea player, I, you know, I, whatever. But, you know, he's a good card if you're a Chelsea fan. Um, and yeah, if you need a really, really good winger, he's going to be your guy. Looks solid. Um, Cap Davila, another good left back. Obviously, gets a lot of praise on this game. I don't really see him too much in game when I play. Maybe it's because I'm in the lower division. Like I said, I'm trying to climb the divisions, trying to get up to a higher uh, division rivals rank. I'm in like division six or five. So, but yeah, yeah, you'll just find it pretty solid left back wise. Good all round green stats. Another good option you could throw in there. Um, Kebler, um, I have not used her, so I don't know how good she is. But you know, these female cars are really, really good in this game. Like I said, they have the smaller body types, so they're going to be able to move around a lot better and be more responsive. And yeah, she looks like a solid card. Honestly, when was she born? Okay, she's only thirty five. I can't believe that 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 uh, Francesco guy's a hundred years old. That that's what. Well, well, obviously he's probably not alive anymore. But right, that's wild. Um, Park Ji Sung, another good one. Manchester United hero or legend. You can put him in the legend status. He was a very very good player. Um, he's only eighteen thousand coins. He's another good card. He you wouldn't be too bad to put in this as well. Ji Sung Park. Um, good green stats all around. Might be somebody I might consider doing. Good stats. Good card. And yeah, I didn't really much to say about Park Jisung. He's always been good in, in FC or F FIFA's. Man. Well, was he at it this year? I think he was in last year. Uh, Forlon, another one you could do. Very, very good card. I'm pretty sure he has a special card, I think. Does he not? So yeah, he gets up to 90 rated. So yeah, I mean, if the price of the hero, so I'd say one, 125 plus about, depending on your hero, it could be 100k. So yeah, I'd say about 200k. Honestly, you're paying a fraction of the price than what you pay on the market um, for the new FC Fantasy promo. You got Smaller Rack as well. He looks like a beast as well if you're Polish. I know you're buzzing about that one. He gets up to 88 rated for the Polish people. He, he'd definitely be a good card. I've never used him before. I don't know how good he is. He's probably like the old uh, Lewandowski before Lewandowski. He looks like a good card. 
Um, and yeah, pretty good card, man. A lot of people are gonna bypass him. What's his play styles? Press pool and tiki taka quick step. Um, is that all his play styles? Uh, it is. I didn't mean to go to that. It's, it's fine, no, but yeah, so. Going down, Gully just got the SBC. I don't think a lot of people do him. He, he has the 91 SBC. It's super, super cheap. I would bypass that altogether. Beasley, a uh, USA um, card. Demarcus Beasley. Three-star, four-star. This one's 86 rated. So this one's going to be an upgrade. And yeah, he was, looks like a well-rounded card. This one has better shooting, better stuff. So yeah, it's a good upgrade. 100 and what? 130K. Berbatov already has a card. I think I have him. Um, pretty cheap. I, I will bypass that one. Nakata, or uh, Japanese, pretty good. 89 rated. He's always been a FIFA type card. A lot of people don't give this guy flowers. It's a good card. Good player, good card. Um, Canoe, Nigerian. If you're Nigerian, another upgrade for him is always welcoming, obviously. And yeah, it's going to be his best card right now. Yes. Yeah, he looks solid. Donovan, eh. Mustavoy, eh, Coit, eh, McManaman, um, I've never used this card, um, he has an 89 rated card, see, this is what I'm saying, so, so this one is, how much is this McManaman, I'm gonna say 300k, oh, he's 61k, so see, for this McManaman, I would say go out and buy that one, because it would just make more sense, because why are you gonna spend 125k for basically, the same card. I mean, yes, this one has a little bit better physical, but I mean, the play styles are the same. Everything is the same. It's it that that's not gonna really be that noticeable in game, at least personally to me. But I could be wrong. Um, Rize, and eh, he already has an upgraded card. Dempsey, nobody's really gonna do. Rickon eh, and Rui Costa. Rui Costa honestly surprised me this year, bro. I used this card. This one, very solid card. But the way the game is formatted, if they had separate, he'd, he'd be a beast, right? He's very, very solid. Um, but he already has a 90 rated card right here. See, this, this evolution is weird because it's basically on par with the, um, the FC Fantasy heroes that they just dropped. So basically, it would be more economically smart to go do this evolution instead of going to buy um, the card on the market. Which means it, but, but but then again, people can argue and say, well, it's untradeable, which makes sense. Because, yeah, if it's untradeable, you can't sell it back. See, that's how EA gets you. See, they make these evolutions untradeable. You can't get your coins back. And basically, see, you're stuck with these cards. So if they don't, if you don't like them after a while, you're stuck. So let me know down below which one are you choosing from this base hero catch up. I would love to hear your input and responses down below. It's been Beloved, you guys, and I'm out. Peace out.